Well, greetings, friends and fellow cigar box guitar enthusiasts. Jasper, the friendly ghost cat, shop cat, says hi. And Mojo's busy chewing a bone. Uh, we also have a fire stoked in the wood burning stove. So we're gonna stay nice and toasty. I got a little something something in the mail from John McNair from Red Dog Guitars. You're gonna have to stick around to the end of the video to see what this is, because I'll open it up. But what I wanted to do first was kind of show you the very first cigar box guitar that's gonna be coming out of my new workshop here. This is actually gonna be for my little brother. Um, uh, tomorrow's his birthday. So this will be his birthday present. Um, this neck here, put together last night and uh, turned out pretty good. So let's go ahead and, um, this cat just like hangs on, dude. He just loves hanging on. He doesn't he doesn't claw or anything like that, but he definitely, uh, definitely hangs on. See, look at that, no hands. All right, let's get started. Before we get started, I did want to show you my new um, apron. My wife got me this for my, for my birthday. Oh yeah, this is awesome. Sweet. Get out of the way, cat. You're in the way. And we know. Wow, this cat just won't give it up, will you? Won't give it up. Give it up, cat. He just wants to hang out. All right. Get it out of your system. Get it out of your system. All right, let's get to building. So, <clears throat> we notched it, put the blocks on the bottom, and you can see I have two blocks on the back here and one block in the front, and that's to accommodate the back angle. And again, the back angle is a difference from here to here. Uh, this piece here, uh, I cut off 3 16 here, and I cut off 3 8 here. And I don't know if you can see that very well or not in this light, but it does go back. And that is so, um, wait, what am I doing here? There you go. Righty tighty, lefty loosey. Look at that sound hole in the back. Um, can you guess how we got those sound holes in there? So, I did have screws on the top here for the position markers here. I'll, I'll give you an up close on this here when I'm done. So we got the Lowe's fretboard. It is stained with a combination of walnut and weathered oak to kind of give it that dark. And then I sanded it down nice and smooth. This is a Doug fur neck that I salvaged from, from Oregon. So, all right, so I'm gonna get started. So I just screwed the <clears throat> neck into the back and I started thumping this thing and listening. I'm like, what the heck is making that sound? Hear it? And I realized what it is. It's this tab right here from the jack. Listen, listen. It has like a tone. Same tone. What do you think, cat, huh? All right. The soldering flux must have gotten melted at some point in time. Because it was just leaking out all over the... I had to get the napkin and clean it up. It's getting all over my hands and stuff. So we just got done soldering a piece of 
piezo. So now we're gonna mount it inside the piezo hole. So I'm gonna get some hot glue going on and then I'm gonna wire it directly to the jack. So I go to Home Depot and I buy these three inch springs. They're about three inches. And then get some hooks and put them on the, the side of the neck. <clears throat> and there's just stretch it out to about, actually it's not stretched very much at all. Maybe uh, five inches, five inches. And it creates like a little, and if you put your ear up against the neck and just tap it, man, you can hear it so loud. So that's like a natural spring reverb. And I put that hook directly over the piezo just to kind of get maximum closeness on the vibrations there. These screws that I'm using to screw in the back end here, we salvaged when we demolished this place. We like, we got a little quarter head top, so I gotta get a quarter bit. I always pre-drill all these things here so you don't split cracked wood. <laughs> One of the advantages of this hole right here is that you can reach in and you can, if you if you want to dampen it, just put a piece of cotton in between the wood and the spring, and that'll kill the reverb or a napkin or whatever. Other than, other than and you just reach it from the back. And here's how we install the piezo. So first off, I just get one of these Forstner, Fosner bits and just take out, I take out about, about an eighth inch, maybe just a little bit more. And then I usually knock out like the side wall here. I don't know if you can see that or not, but I busted out this side, side wall. And then the next thing is to <clears throat> be generous sort of generous with your hot glue so I put about the size of a nickel actually about the size of a dime and then this little tr trough right here that's where I put the wires through make sure the wires stay inside the box and I kind of just push it down just a little bit just to kind of position it and I want this piezo to be directly under the saddle that's the key right make sure those wires are out of the way ah ah it's hot okay now I'm going to put some more hot glue on the top side of the piezo you want to kind of keep that piezo centered it's like I'm, I'm kind of getting off center here because of gravity uh, so I'm going to put it back on center. And how am I going to do that, you say? I just want to get like a screw or a nail or something. I'll just use a screwdriver. Put it right back in the center. Okay, now, this is real important. While it's still hot, I just get a sheet of paper. It could be any kind of paper. I just put it right over the top. And then you're going to get your top... And you're going to marry the two. Now that piece of paper is so that the hot glue doesn't stick to the underside of this box. So just put your box top directly down exactly where it's going to be. And just kind of hold it in place. And that glue is going to create a like, nice flat surface right underneath the, where the saddle is going to go. So that way I have optimum um, string vibrations going straight into that piezo. Cats over there snoring. Have you heard a cat snore? All right, <clears throat> so to prove it to you, I'm gonna show you here. It's just a flat, flat surface. Now what I can do now, um, I don't wanna peel it off. I, don't, I like to leave that tape there. So I'm gonna let it dry a little bit more and then just cut it out so it's a nice, pretty little white spot. Um, and then I just solder the other wires, these wires, to the jack. 
always, always, always test <clears throat> before you button button it up. So I got a little smiley face on there. So we are good to go. Got her all strung up. We are tuned. G, D, G. And these are the heavy, these are the heavy strings. These are the um, south bounders. And the gauge on these is 0 0.44 wound, 0 0.34 wound, and 0 0.26 wound. And the action is really low. In fact, if I I can get some buzzing down here. If I play hard, right? But if I play soft. Oh, I get it. I just actually just guess where that saddle should go. And man, I nailed it perfect without, I just double checked everything and it was like dead on the money, so. interesting sound so listen to the reverb okay so first off the reverb is off on on the amp no reverb no reverb but yet there's reverb because of the spring in fact if i bang on it you can hear it listen almost sounds like a bell so that's that's kind of what you're hearing you're hearing If you like I said, if you wanted to kill that reverb, just get yourself a little stinky old little napkin and put it in the hole. That's probably way more napkin than I need. Uh, yeah, way more napkin. Yeah, you can hear it's dead now. stretch your strings right you just grab a string and you let the guitar hang by the string and you kind of just wiggle it jiggle it wiggle it and jiggle it this really stretches the string nice and you can actually do it do like a bow and arrow if you want to like yeah pull that thing so i do that for all the strings the thick strings and the skinny strings because if it's going to break it's going to break now but it ain't going to break these strings are like Rated. I guarantee it's out of tune now, right? I guarantee it.
Whenever you tune, you gotta make your face go. Like you're listening. back to the reverb and it's kind of a noisy kind of a trashy reverb it's supposed to sound like that if I put it near the phone it makes a humming sound So this guitar is going to be a happy birthday present to my little brother who has been a key. Um, okay, Mojo wants to. Mojo, you want to come say hi? Huh? You want to come say hi? Say hi to everybody, Mojo. Hi. <laughs> he is jealous of the cat. But anyhow, yeah. So this is going to be a happy birthday. This is the first guitar that's come out of this uh, workshop. And. Uh, yeah, so what, what better fitting gift to my little brother than the first cigar box that came out of this. So this is going to be numbered 401, 401, 401. And I'll be sure to sign that. So anyhow, shout out to my little bro, Gordon. I'll put his link to his uh, YouTube channel in the video description below. Oh yeah, and last, and last but not least, I did want to open. I told you I was going to open up this... Um, mystery gift from john mcnair from red dog cigar boss guitar i'm going to dr uh, drop his link in the video description also below here so anyhow what could it be what could it be i hope i don't destroy it by cutting it let's see here oh my gosh i know what these are check it out man oh this is a book oh my gosh Okay, check this out. All right, cat, go away. I'll read some books. This is a book, huh? Box guitar blues. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? All right, guys, check this out. Is this a gift or what? This looks like a history here. What? What does it say here? Is it a history? Oh yeah. The story of cigar box guitars and the history of the blues. Red Dog Guitars. This book will change your life. Um, gosh, thank you, John McNair. What an awesome, 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 sweet gift, man. Um, I think I was on your website today, and I think I saw a link to this in Amazon or whatever. If that's the case, then I will put the link to this book in the am in uh, in the video description, so check the video description. You'll probably see the the. Oh man, this is so awesome, man! Seriously, dang, dude. Okay, 
All right, I know what I'm going to be doing tonight. I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be checking this, this book out. Awesome. Wow. Okay. I'm humbled and amazed. Humbled and honored and amazed. All right, guys. Thanks for, uh, for all the encouragement and for sticking, uh, sticking with us through the thick and thin. Um, yeah, yeah. I'm looking forward to finishing all these. I started nine, nine. So this is the first of the nine that I'm going to do. And it will be presented tomorrow as a happy birthday to my little brother. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Gordon. Gordon, or Gordy for short. Happy birthday to you. still going to be older than you for the rest of your life. So happy birthday.